Charles Hoffling. I need to talk to you urgently about your obedience study. We've had two Midwest hospitals on the phone. Complaining. Yes boss. What did they say was the problem? They said you upset the nurses by undermining their professionalism. They undermined it themselves when they broke the rules. I just showed that these people don't actually behave in the way they think they will, or say they will in a questionnaire. You'd better start at the beginning. Talk me through what you did. I know three hospitals were involved and that you carried out a field experiment in two of them. Yes that's right, and a questionnaire in the third. The experiment involved 22 nurses and the survey to 33 nurses, 12 graduates and 21 student nurses. It was about obedience. So you actually tested how obedient nurses were? To the doctors in the hospital? To a pretend doctor. He phoned each nurse up when she was on duty one evening and asked the nurse to give an excessive dose of a medicine. We call the drug Astro-10. That could have been dangerous. What if the nurses had overdosed the patients? These people are really ill you know, that's why they're in hospital. Oh don't worry, the Astro-10 capsules were actually sugar pills, completely harmless. In any case we plan to stop the study if the nurse went to give the medication. Any other reason? If the nurse refused to follow the order, if they became upset, if the call went on more than 10 minutes. So what part of the order was against the hospital rules? Nurses know that they shouldn't take orders over the phone, or from an unknown doctor, or an unauthorized drug for the ward. They certainly shouldn't give an overdose. So major rule breaking then. Okay tell me what you found. Results please. 21 out of the 22 nurses went to give the medication. Phone calls were brief and there was no resistance. I think you could conclude that nurses obey doctors. Well you don't say. And what did the questionnaire show, the same thing? No. This is the really interesting thing. 10 out of 12 graduate nurses and all 21 student nurses said they would do the opposite. They claimed they would not have given the drug. Right. So the natural behavior of the nurses was to obey, even when it meant breaking the rules. And they think they will follow the rules but they actually don't. Yes exactly. I can see that this would embarrass and upset some of them, but as it's 1966 I don't have any ethical guidelines to follow. You approve the study boss. Did I? Oh well it must have seemed a good idea at the time. A field experiment so ecologically valid, well planned and controlled. Obviously you can't get informed consent. Not in an obedience study no. Just like Milgram a few years back. If you tell participants that you will be testing their obedience they won't act naturally. As my study showed. Gee well I think we'll have to write out the storm on this one. You did debrief the nurses afterwards, didn't you? Yes boss, of course. They all were followed up within half an hour and asked to do a brief unstructured interview. That's how I know how they felt about the study. Feelings ranged from interest, through mild confusion to guilt and anger. Yes well I've heard the anger. However they should be grateful. You've pointed out something really important. Nurses should be encouraged to stand up to doctors. Oh thanks boss. I think this might bring about some changes in nurse training. Maybe one day we'll have more female doctors and more male nurses and the situation will change. Well I can't see that happening. You'll be saying we can't have a female president next. What a hilarious notion. Anyway shall I get back to my research? Yes go on, I'll deal with these upset nurses. I've got some great assertiveness training they can do. See you later Charles.